Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Whispering Roots YouTube channel. Today, we're doing aquaponics in a bottle. What is aquaponics? Well, aquaponics is a system of food production that combines hydroponics, using water to grow food, and aquaculture, raising fish. Aquaponics system have two key components, the plant and the fish. What happens is, our fish eats fish food, digests it, and then yes, it poops it out. This fish poop is full of ammonia and travels with the water up into the soil of our plant. Here, nitrifying bacteria turn the ammonia into something called nitrates, which are a really good fertilizer for the plant. The roots suck up the water with the nitrates, keep the nitrates to use to grow, and send the filtered water back down to our fish. So, our fish is happy and our plant is happy. They're working together to keep each other growing. Now that we know how it works, we can build our own. A full list of materials that you'll need to build is listed here. Before you begin, you'll need to rinse out the bottle with water only as to avoid exposing your fish to chemicals and remove the label, cap, and ring. So we're gonna take our utility knife very carefully. This is probably a step that's best fit for an adult if you're doing this with your kiddos. And just where the curve of the top of the bottle ends is where we're gonna cut, and we're gonna cut this entire top all the way off. So giving my hand a nice safe amount of space away from our knife, we're gonna go ahead and cut the top of our bottle off. Now that we've separated the top and the bottom of our bottle, we're going to make four holes in the top section and we're going to put wooden skewers through there and those are going to keep the top up above the bottom so it doesn't fall in on our fish. I just bought kebab skewers at the dollar store and cut the sharp end of them off and it only cost $1.25 and it was super easy. I'm going to take the same utility knife and very carefully, um, about two thirds down on this top piece, I'm going to make a very teeny tiny hole for my wooden skewer to go through. And I'm going to do that on all four sides so that my skewers are essentially pointing every direction on the compass. Before we stick the skewers in, we are going to add coffee filters. I layered two together and we are going to set these in the top section. And what this is going to do is our plant is going to go up here and we want to make sure that the soil from our plant isn't falling into our fish tank. So we're going to put our coffee filter inside. We're going to poke a hole in the bottom of our coffee filter and we're going to stick our skewers through the coffee filter just like that. So I've got all my skewers stuck through. This is about how low I did them. That's a good depth because you still want to have enough room for your plant to go in the top. I also went ahead and I cut the extra long edges off so that it wasn't poking out super far. And now this is going to keep our top just above the bottle to give our fish plenty of room to swim around. We're going to make the wick that gets the water from our fish up to our plant. So we've got some twine here and I'm going to take a section about eight to 10 inches long and I'm going to cut that and I'm going to go ahead and make three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to braid these pieces together to make our wick extra thick so that it sucks plenty of water up and our plant isn't being left thirsty. So I've got my three. And about an inch and a half down from one end, I'm gonna tie these together in a knot so that they stay together. I've got my wick. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our scissors and very carefully, we wanna poke a hole that goes through the bottom of our coffee filter so that our wick can feed through. The side with the knot on it is going to go up in the top of our bottle and then the rest of the strings are going to hang down. All right, so the top looks like this. Our knot is up there and now our wick is hanging down to bring water up to our plant. 
Today we are going to use basil in the top of ours. So I'm gonna set the bottom half aside and we're gonna focus on the top. And I just grabbed an extra cup to set this on while we work so that none of the extra stuff drips down before we get started on our fish. So like I said, we're using basil. You wanna make sure that you get your plant in the soil really, really moist before you start planting. So our soil is super wet and we're going to very carefully transplant our little basil and all of the extra soil. If you added your skewers too high, your plant may end up sticking out of the top of your bottle. So that's why you wanna make sure that you're not putting your skewers too high up when you add them to the top section of your bottle. All right, now we're gonna get started on our fish section. So first we're gonna use our aquarium gravel. It's really important that you rinse this off before you add it. So we've rinsed it multiple times to make sure that it's not gonna add any extra dust into our water. And we filled it uh, just a little bit higher than where the grooves of the bottle are. We want to give our fish a nice place to live so we bought an aquatic plant and we're going to add this before we pour our water in so that it's easier to get it in there okay so for the water this part is a little bit more specific you need to make sure that you're giving your fish dechlorinated water if you let your water sit out for 24 hours, it will dechlorinate itself. So that's the water we've got right here. We've let it sit for the proper amount of time so that it's gonna be safe for our fish to live in. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the dechlorinated water to our aquarium. Before we add our fish, it's really important that we're paying close attention to what the associates at the pet store are telling you for how to get your fish into your tank. For a lot of fish, specifically like for the beta that we're using, you have to go through a multi-step process before you can simply just put your fish right into the water. You have to let them get acclimated to the temperature, make sure that there's no chemicals in the water. So we are going to follow that process and get our new fish friend acclimated before we put them all the way in and then we'll come back to you guys. Okay, our fish is in here and he is adjusted and he's looking very happy in his new home. Uh, just keep in mind feeding them regularly and you have to change their water regularly too. Betas are really cool and just like you and me, they breathe air. So every so often he is going to come up to the top and he's going to take a big gulp of air and head back down. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning the water regularly enough that a film isn't growing on the top because that's going to prevent him from breathing. It's also something to keep in mind when you're adding your top on that he still has plenty of top surface space on the water to breathe air. So we're going to go ahead and finally put it together super carefully and gently, making sure we're watching out for our fish while we're doing so. All right, and there it is. Our aquaponic system is all done. I'm so excited with how this turned out. This was really fun to build and I can't wait to watch it grow. I can't wait to see our basil get bigger and even eat our basil. Um, there's plenty of space around the top ring for you to feed your fish so you won't have to take the top off every time. That's what these fancy skewers are for. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to our channel. You can also find us on our website, whisperingroots.org. We have Instagram, Facebook, and a TikTok. We do lots of other STEM-related crafts. So thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.